You're awake. Sorry, overslept. The Emperor seeks to rule directly. However, the diehard followers of the Cardinal have begun to act in very suspicious ways. So they're looking for a war, huh? And without their leader, there will be no one left to keep them in check. And so more will die. Not on my watch. I promise I can stop this war so that your efforts will not have been in vain. Thank you, Sergei. Now then. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Let's see what the inn is serving. Of course he's hungry! He's done nothing but sleep! A lot has happened. For Saray. Guess his spirit needed the sleep. Will he be alright? I doubt this is the last time this kind of thing happens. True. You coming? Yo, I'm ready to grub up. Let's get some of those Mabo curry buns. We can do that. I'm gonna do that. I don't know if you want to do that. I'm gonna do that. Mabo curry bun, baby. Is it head to the inn for dinner? I can do that. All right, I'm gonna go eat. I'm hungry. I'm actually hungry. Also, I should eat soon. Drago stew. I'd give that one about a seventy. Maven. I heard about the church. Word travels fast. It must be difficult being the shepherd. Yeah, in more than a few ways, but I'm good. I'll make sure of it. I see. So, did you find anything out? Yes. Maltellus was not there. No? It's true. We went all the way to the back of the shrine. No dice. The Seraph Mautelus is shrouded in mystery. Some doubt whether or not he even exists. The Shrine Church has been able to promote faith in Mautelus all the way back to the era of Asgard. That wouldn't be possible without the blessing of an extremely powerful Seraph, don't you think? I believe that Mautelus really did exist and was supported by the people's worship. But then in that case, the problem is, when did he disappear? Well, he's a crazy powerful Mega Seraph with a blessing that covers the whole continent, right? When did he vanish? Same time his blessing went poof, I assume. You mean, the beginning of the Age of Chaos? Wait, if Mal Telus' disappearance was in fact the cause of the Age of Chaos... Then if his blessing returns, that might put an end to it. Let's search for Mal Telus. Hey, Pops, got any ideas? Well, aside from Mautelus's Shrine Church, there are four other shrines where the power of the Five Lords is said to reside. The Trial Shrines! We were gonna check those out anyway! Huh, <laughs> excellent! If you learn anything on your journeys, let us know! Sounds good. I'll try to trace the old legends as well. Farewell. Stay healthy. Thanks. Yep. I'll be sure to inform McGill and the rest of the guild that you are doing well, my lady. I'm hungry. Looks like the two of them are starting to cheer up. Saray and Rose, I mean. Hope so. Saray does worry me sometimes when he bottles things up. He does, doesn't he? But so do you, Lila. Don't forget, we're here for you too. You're quite right. Thank you.
Yeah, seriously, Lala. Like, I can tell How something's exactly going on looking for the and you're not talking. That mural and Tentagel could tell us the general locations, but... But beyond that, we're probably just gonna have to go and look for them. I see a thing in here also. I'm going to stay for one meal. The shepherd's training and the hunt for Mount Tellus. Two birds with one stone. More like a trillion birds. We get to explore the ruins of the five lords. Ruins, ruins, ruins. You're obsessed. Hey, you gotta enjoy things like this while you can. Even if you might die? Well, I mean, it's an adventure. I'll say. I'm not as wild about it as you two, but I'll be there. I'm with you two, no matter where this takes us. Yeah, friendship. Might die, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Probably won't die all that much. It's like a half die. You half die sometimes and you come back. And you'll be alright. A place fit for the five lords. Huh. So where does one look for a wayward Mount Tellus? It'd have to be a place suitable as a vessel for one of the five lords. A clean and pure shrine. Or a vast natural landscape with no malevolence. And a shrine of trials certainly sounds plausible. The shepherd disappeared for months. Turned out, he was on the lamb. <laughs> Poor Lila. We'd probably drive her up the wall. I'm sorry. Seriously, it's okay. We've basically figured out the terms of your oath anyway. Time to sing the rap pig song. Rap pig, rap pig, with ears so sweet. Oh, you mean when we talk about Maltellus? Rap pig, rap pig, such tasty meat. Ugh, leave her alone. This is wrong in so many ways. We're not accusing you of hiding anything. Honest. That's right. And I can use the flames of purification, thanks to you. We'll find out for ourselves anything we truly wish to know. Thank you for understanding. Pathetic. You'd let anyone pull the wool over your eyes, wouldn't you, Shepard? You took the oath too, Dezel? Why would... Oh, damn it. This is like some hardcore oath, man. Oh yeah, the person's over there. Hey you, I see your thing. Howling season. Okay. This is some like crazy hardcore oath where you if you even mention a word, like you're you're going to be off track entirely. Like we are cutting off the uh We're cutting off everything. Like this is this is a conversation that is just straight up not happening even if we talk about the person. Or thing or whatever. Agil, are you working? Yeah, data gathering. I need to meet with five informants by the end of the day. Sounds like a lot of work. Agil is like the eyes, ears, and brains for us scattered bones. So then, what are you, Rose? I'm the... the head. I'm the boss at any rate. A head, but not the brains. So you're the skull? Shut up! You're ruining my metaphor! <laughs> well, our boss is more like a goddess of victory. Used to be Little Miss Goddess, of course. Little Miss Goddess? Back when our old boss was around. He used to carry her on his back all the time. Those were good times, weren't they? Yep. Help our comrades and defeat our enemies. It was simple back then. So it was. But things have changed. In the underworld, information is king. Did you find any good leads? A couple. The one they call Shepherd Malfour was originally a priest in the Church of Rolands. It seems he's angling to fill the power vacuum caused by the death of Cardinal Fortin. Figures. And then there's the business with the fake elixir. The Church can no longer ignore the situation, and they've started investigating the source. And does that mean that the village chief of Gadadin will... Gadadin? Um, let me explain. I see. So that's what was going on. Agil, do you think the decision I made... 
The boss's judgment is the scattered bones' judgment. But it might require a bit of following up. Yeah, you're right. Let's head over to Gadadin and see how things stand. Thanks. I guess we can head over there and check that place out. Um, is there anything in town we can check out? I remember... Dezel saying there was something more in Pendrago. So, I have a feeling we should check out the town a little bit before we get going. And it looks like something happens at night or something. So... Hey! Wanna go ask them about the Irish gems? Alrighty, I'll go ask. Will you be alright? They look pretty sketchy. Leave it to me! All merchants are like family. Money keeps us together. Are you sure about this? Let's just leave it to Rose. We're not savvy enough to know when we're being tricked. Yeah, speak for yourself. I got it! They said they saw an iris gem in the ruins north of here. A ruin in the north? Weird. Why do they keep laughing? Are they laughing at me? They think you're a phony shepherd and that I'm a victim of your con artistry. They've got it wrong. It can't be helped. There are many who claim to be the shepherd. But still, to be treated like a con artist? No point in arguing with them. Yeah. It's way better to be laughed at than to be frightened of. Well, okay. I mean, we found a, found a thing for an iris gem, so we should probably go get that. That's cool. What is north? Like from here? Is that like that... I get, I'm guessing it's that one pathway we didn't go from before. I guess we'll figure it out. There's an our star. Yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff here. So we're gonna have to check out this whole town. But I might not play too much longer because uh, I'm a little tired, I'm a little hungry. So I'm just gonna finish up things soon and then we'll end it off. Sorry that I'm not recording all that much lately though. I hope to do more soon, but can't really promise too much. I do want to finish this game relatively soon though, so hopefully we can do that. Whoa! Thank you for taking the time to come today. Lo, I am the shepherd, Malfor. Hey, tell me, shepherd. Is it really true that you saved the plagued city? Yeah, check that out. Do you see that? Oh, it was nothing. I just helped the princess of Highland a little by building a bridge in a single day. Then what about the Battle of Glavin? Did you really stop the war? Why, it was easy. All I did was tell them that this isn't the time to be quarreling with one another. It was a hard battle, but I was able to gain support from the Roland's Night Squad. Isn't that Captain Sergei from the Platinum Knights? Then it might not completely be a lie. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to do it without getting caught. <sighs> I suppose the knights wouldn't just let some mere imposter do as he pleases. So you mean to say this bloke must be... an actual shepherd? It matters not what I am, but please, no matter what, believe in the blessing of the Seraphim. That is the only way to bring salvation to this world. If the people desire it so, I, the Shepherd Malfour, shall put my life on the line to deliver their prayers! Shepherd Malfour! Shepherd Malfour! May the Seraphim's blessing cover the world! This is ridiculous! Saray's the one who did those things. And I'm sure Sergei knows that too. There must be a reason. Probably. Yeah, most likely. Sergei isn't usually, usually the type to deal with this kind of crap, so there's probably some bigger reason. Well, tell me what's going on, man. 
God damn it, Sergei. I guess we'll leave it to him. It doesn't really matter all that much. I'm not really looking for fame or fortune. So... But it is kind of bothersome. Please wait, Shepard Soray. There's a reason behind Malfor's actions. I'm sure. I trust Sergei. We're quite unsure how he worked his way in, but Malfor has been a favorite of General Tuller. And so, the General has ordered the Night Squad to protect the Shepherd, Malfor. That's the reason? They are just pawns of the Empire, after all. General Tuller also has a close relationship with the Imperial Majesty, and... No more excuses! Whatever the reason is, it is clear I have sullied your honor. I can only apologize. <laughs> Not sure I had honor to start with. Anyway, it was nice to see that people expect so much from the Shepherd. It's a good sign. What a gentleman. Gentlemen, Schmettelman, what were you doing just standing around? I'm afraid I could do not. Knowing all the while who the true Shepherd was. Looks like they took advantage of just how earnest you are. It's pretty ironic. The less affected by malevolence you are, the harder it is to live an honest life. Such is the human condition, I suppose. Even so, that is how humans live. It's tough. Well, you gotta have chess pieces, I suppose. Where'd you go, Sergei? You're gone! Hey, oh well. Can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. Just how things go sometimes. Um... So we could go to the north, where apparently there's a thing for the iris gem. Um, I just want to see if there's anything else. It doesn't look like it, so... I just noticed, whenever Miklio gets angry, it always has something to do with Saray. What? That's not true. Then what's with that response? Come on, you guys are family. It's because they're in love. Like a family love. It's cool. It's nice that Mikleo cares so much. God, this place looks like way better without the rain. You sure had a grim look on your face when we left Pendrago. I've got vengeance to seek in that town. Was there something I missed in there? Okay, so north. I guess that place right there? We'll have to check that out, but I'm gonna, I'm really curious now. Did I miss something in here? I don't think I did. Because we can't really go anywhere else here. But, yeah, I'll just come back. I'm gonna check out where that, uh, that place north of here. And then I have no idea where to go. Because I have no idea where any of these things are. So last in Bell we can go to. We gotta go to Gadadin, I know that. North of Pendrago. We can go to Lady Lake, apparently. Go to... I'm, I kind of want to just go to Gadotim right now. Yeah, what's this, by the way? Can I... Okay, if I, I'm going to stay at the inn if there's anything I can... Like, if it takes me to nighttime, maybe? I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. But if this doesn't work, we'll head to Gadotin, I guess. And then be good. So 
Serate, you're not going to sleep yet? Yeah. I want to take a look around the city. It's so quiet that I can feel the gravity of this city's history. Fitting for an ancient capital born from the height of the era of Asgard. It's kind of dawning on me. The things we read about in books actually exist. Ah, uh, what a poem this would make if we were travelers of old. A poem? Ah, Pendrago, where the evening lights are blinding sights. Come on. Okay, it wasn't great, but I gotta start somewhere, right? What the? What was that? Quit it, Miklio. It wasn't me. Let's check outside. Okay, let's check that out. That seemed a little scary. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Hello, friends. Was that Howell just now? Him? I'm not sure, but this doesn't feel like his domain. What, held off? No. I doubt it's held off. Hello! Really be. Please, where did that come from? I must find out. I have no clue. It seemed really scary. Maybe up here? Oh, there's a thing. Yep, there's a thing. Let's check that out. Yo, that looks scary, dude. I don't know if I want to mess with that, but here I go. <laughs> that looks absolutely terrifying. 